Hi there. A new book opens a portal to a spiritual practice offering simple ways to calm overactive minds and ease daily stress. The Heartfulness Way, Heart-Based Meditations for Spiritual Transformation, is co-written by practitioner and trainer Joshua Pollock and Indian spiritual leader Kamlesh Patel. The book lays out four elements to connect more deeply with yourself. Josh Pollock joins me now. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I admit to needing these kinds of things, calming. So I do guess I. everybody does, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, I would think you're an expert now at it, right? Well, we're, all, we're, all, we're all students in a way. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Yeah. So why heartfulness instead of the term we hear so often, which is mindfulness? Right, well, I think they have uh, similar goals in a sense, right? What we often find is that life is challenging, of course. That's an understatement. But we make it worse with an overactive mind, yeah. with an unregulated mind. You know, we create suffering out of just regular old pain. You know what I mean? Um, no, tell me what you do. Well, you know, what I mean is that, you know, you can have some challenge that you face, mm -hmm. but then you start spiraling in your own mind ah, about it. Yes. You create ex extra anxiety about it. Right. Or you can have some possibilities in life and you create fantasy about it. So I think what mindfulness, now you want me to distinguish between them. So what Please. mindfulness tries to do, they try, you try to get off this whole train, you, this unregulated mind, right? They try to disassociate themselves with it. And I'm talking from personal experience mm -hmm. here, having tried both. Try to disassociate yourself and become an observer of your thoughts, your feelings, all so many things like that. But it has one actually side effect too, observation. I don't know, people watching might have heard of something called the observer effect. So this mm -hmm. is now quantum science, right? Here, when scientists are trying to observe these minute particles, right, the technology they have to observe them is so, you know, obtrusive that it ends up impacting the experiment, mm. right? So they can't actually accurately observe. Similarly, when we're actively observing our thoughts and everything around us, the mind is so subtle that we create side effects. So instead of letting the whole system just calm down, we're actually feeding energy into this system. Interesting. So we try a different approach altogether. Okay. Instead of mindful, you know, observation, mindful thinking, we try heartful feeling, right? Because when your heart is at peace, your mind will be at rest by itself. So in a very natural way, I think we end up moving into feeling and becoming mere witnesses instead of active observers. And there is a difference. I can see the distinction. How did you come to this practice? I don't know. I stumbled into it somehow. <laughs> you went to India. <laughs> no, it was before happen. that. I found it in a place called Cleveland, Ohio. Actually. Really? I was just trying to go to the grocery store. I, I wasn't see expecting what anything when like this. See you try to get groceries I know. in Cleveland? Yeah. So I actually recommend that to everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll try it. Yeah. No. So I just it just sort of came into my life, mm -hmm. you know, seemingly by accident, and I just had such a wonderful experience with it that I kept going, and I'm you know still kind of wonderstruck. Well, can you describe what that experience was? Yeah, well, I mean, I think my very first experience was something where I felt such balance in myself. I mean, in my first minute of meditation, I felt so silly, actually, because a smile appeared on my face. And I don't know why I was so happy. I just was happy for no reason. And then it sort of moved beyond that stage of happiness. And I just felt, you know, so, such comfort within my own heart. Then, we all want that, right? Oh, Balance yeah. is such Peace. a good thing. Peace is such an important yeah. thing, regardless of what's happening. So can you give us kind of an example of something we might be able to try at home or I could do later today? Well, sure. Yeah, so... <laughs> Not to bring this back to me, but no, I, I definitely most want to try it. <laughs> yeah. So this is something that people can try at home. I'm just going to briefly try this for 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. You sim it's so simple, this practice. All you do is you just presume that there is light inside the heart. Very, give it a special quality. You, know, you can almost think of it as something like light from your source within. Now some people might say, is there actually light inside? It doesn't matter. This is a hypothesis, not a belief. Mm -hmm. So entertain this idea so that you can use this experiment of meditation to verify this hypothesis. Right? So all we do is we presume that there's this light in the heart. Do we try to see it? No, you'll never see it. This is about feeling. That's why we're using the heart. So we just close our eyes, center our attention there, and over the course of a few minutes, let's say 10 minutes, see what kind of experience gradually emerges over the course of that 10 minutes. And more importantly, because anything can happen in meditation, it can be great, it can be disturbing, whatever. But see how you feel afterwards. That's the important thing. The effect that it leaves you with is more important than anything you'll experience during meditation. Interesting. Okay, so 10 mm. minutes is kind of our minimum, right? We can do this for longer if we of have course. time. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, other, in other words. For sure. Um, one of the things that people mention about being 
uh, a little bit intimidated by meditation mm. is they think if they don't just experience perfect peace, they've done it wrong. And that's not the case, right? I mean, you're, I you're constantly the in, the, in the process of, of bringing it back to the thing that you're trying to do. Yeah, I, I think that actually meditation isn't so much a skill, but a process that we undergo. And everything that we experience during meditation is a result of that process. So we can actually relax and let this process itself do the work. Tell us about the book and your co-author. Oh, well, my co-author is Kamlesh Patel, right? And uh, people actually, he's a nickname, people call him Daji, but it doesn't matter. He's my own teacher, right? Mm -hmm. And so one day he just called me up and he said, will you write a book about meditation? And I'd never thought of writing a book, you know? And I said, sure, but then I started thinking, well, he's actually my teacher. I w why should, you know, maybe he should write this let's book on meditation. This he's the expert. So then that's what his suggestion was. Okay, let's do it together. I'm so glad that you did because this is, if for people who can't sit here with you, as I have had the privilege to do today, this is one way to get started. That's one way. And another thing I would suggest that is if people try this at home and they like what they experience, go see a trainer. Go to heartfulness.org. They're very normal people. They're here working Perfect. in Seattle at Amazon and Google, and they can help you go further into this experience. We'll put that on our website. Thank yeah. you. We'll be right back. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank you.